we just had a 26 minute direct devoted entirely to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It was filled to the brim with new announcements, details, and most importantly for this video, stages. Now we had already discovered 86 stages in total, most of which were shown off over the course of E3, but today Nintendo confirmed they were showing 103 stages, all of which can be seen on the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate website. That isn't to say there'll be 103 stages in the game though, they even showcased a brand new stage that has not been quantified in any form. We'll get into that in just a moment, so let's take a look at the brand new stages in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before getting into the returning ones in chronological order. If we can, we'll show you video for each stage, but some may just be static images. Ready? Go! Super Smash Bros. Ultimate New Stages so this Monster Hunter stage didn't get a name. All we know is that a Rathlos will be a boss character for this stage while also being an assist trophy. Eagle-eyed Monster Hunter fans though will recognize this as Ancestral Step from Monster Hunter 4. This hasn't been officially named yet, but just look at this comparison. This is definitely Ancestral Step. Okay, and on to what we do know. Dracula's Castle. Great Plateau Tower. Moray Towers. New Donk City Hall. Final Destination Battlefield Big Battlefield And the Training Room Okay, so that's all the brand new stages we know of in Ultimate, but let's take a look at the older stages making a return from previous games. Super Smash Bros. 64 Peach's Castle Congo Jungle Hyrule Castle Super Happy Tree This was known by Yoshi's Island in the original game. There's one or two stages with changed names. Dreamland. Saffron City. Mushroom Kingdom. And on to Super Smash Bros. Melee. Princess Peach's Castle. Rainbow Ride. Congo Falls. Jungle Japes. Great Bay. Temple. Rinstar. Yoshi's Island Melee. There is another Yoshi's Island, and this is the only state that doesn't change its name. Fountain of Dreams! Green Greens. Corneria. Venom. Pokemon Stadium. On it. Mushroom Kingdom 2. Rinstar Depths. Big Blue. Foresight. And on to Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Delfino Plaza. Mushroomy Kingdom Figure 8 Circuit, which was called Mario Circuit Bridge of Elden Norfair Frigate Orpheon Yoshi's Island Halbert Lilac Cruise Pokemon Stadium 2 Port Town Aero Dive Castle Siege Distant Planet Smashville New Pork City Summit Skyworld Shadow Moses Island Luigi's Mansion Pirate Ship Spear Pillar 75M Mario Bros Hainanbow and Green Hill And on to Super Smash Bros. for 3DS 3D Land Golden Plains Paper Mario Gerudo Valley Spirit Train Dreamland GB which was just called Dreamland on the 3DS Unova Pokemon League Prism Tower Mute City SNES which was also just called Mute City on the 3DS Magic Ant Arena Pharox Reset Bomb Forest Tortimer Island Balloon Fight Living Room Street Pass Quest Tomodachi Life and Picto Chat 2 And finally onto Super Smash Bros. for Wii U Mushroom Kingdom U Mario Galaxy Mario Circuit, the one and only Skyloft The Great Cave Offensive Kalos Pokemon League Colosseum Flat Zone X Palutena's Temple Gamer Garden of Hope Town and City We Fit Studio Boxing Ring Gower Plains Wrecking Crew Pilot Wings, Woohoo Island, Windy Hill Zone, Wily's Castle, Pac Land, Super Mario Maker, Suzaku Castle, Midgar, and Umbra Clock Tower. 
Okay, so that's every single stage showcase in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but there are of course even more that have not been revealed just yet. And so with 103 stages, plus Monster Hunter, how many do you think we'll get, and what do you think might not return from prior games? Be sure to let us know in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye!